The actual World of Children Award concept had its birth in 1996. Uh, I had been ill and um, recovering from surgery and was home watching TV and they were giving out the Pulitzer Prizes. That was the genesis of the idea to try to create an award program of the caliber of Nobel and Pulitzer, but specifically focused on children's issues. I met Harry in 1999, and shortly after I met him, he was having his second annual World of Children Award. And I sat there, and I watched him up on the big screen, and I saw what he was doing for kids, and tears were rolling down my face. And that moment, I fell in love with Harry and the World of Children Award, and we've been together ever since. Most charities that you know of are issue-based. Our organization is not issue-based, it's cohort-based. And that cohort is children. From the minute you walk in there, there is a buzz. People say to us, this is the best event I go to because of the warmth and because obviously, first and foremost, the honorees and their amazing stories. What World of Children has done for the Sparkle Effect is given us restored faith that what we're doing is making a difference in the lives of children. The World of Children gives you an award like this. That's the credibility. People will take you serious. We empower them not only through the money we give them, but through the visibility we give them, through the connections we make for them. What kids are learning today, starting in you know, the beginning of elementary school, you know, carries with them through the rest of their lives. We underestimate how important it is for certainly a child to not be below others. And they all really need someone to relate to them that you're no longer going to be alone. You're no longer abandoned. This is over as of now. It's over. When a great challenge faces us, which way would you run? The honorees you met here tonight and the 95 others that have been on the stage over the past 16 years have never wavered. Because every day they run toward the challenges, not away from them. And you know why they do it? One simple reward. The smile of a child. And you can see the needs of so many languishing in the shadows of our good fortune. These honorees you heard here tonight they face those challenges. Our job is to help them do it. Tonight, like a graduation, is not an ending, it's a beginning. Khalil Gibran, the great Lebanese poet philosopher said, your children are not yours alone. They belong to the world. We have an obligation we have an opportunity, we have a responsibility. When they leave here, they are so much more capable of leveraging the work that they do that they can actually 10 or 20 times the number of children that they're touching, maybe 100 times the number of children that they're touching. That's our goal.